Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Xbox Game Pass monthly quest guide. So today we're going to be working on the quest for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands Standard Edition. This is worth 75 rewards points, and we need to get three travel distance within the game, basically three kilometers. We're going to earn 75 rewards points for doing this, and this game is available on the cloud, so if you want to play it that way, you can. I'm going to be playing it here on my Series S console. I've actually been playing a lot of this game with my friends lately, so I have already got this installed. But once you've got it set up, then you're just going to press A to get started, and it will load you into the game. I'm going to assume that you haven't played this game before, so if you haven't, you'll just want to start up a new campaign. So rather than continuing my campaign, I went over to the right to select a new campaign save. So I would just be kind of starting from scratch like many of you will be. So I'm just choosing an empty save slot here and just starting up a brand new fresh campaign for myself just for the video's sake. So when you get started, you'll need to create your character. So feel free to customize as much as you want to. Just to save a little bit of time, I'm just going to go down to the bottom selection to save my character. And then I change the difficulty to Arcade, which is the easiest difficulty. I usually play on regular, but we'll do Arcade for the quest, just so that we can get it finished as easily as possible. Hopefully you won't actually get into any battles in this, and it'll only take you about five minutes or so to complete it. So we've got an initial cutscene here that'll take just a minute or so. And as you get into it, you actually can go ahead and skip most of the cutscene by holding down the B button. So you'll see me do that in just a second here and that'll get us more quickly into the first mission of the game. So once you actually get loaded onto the map here, you should be standing next to some vehicles, and you can kind of see your mini-map at the lower right corner of the screen there. So you can see I've got two trucks that are nearby here, actually one Jeep and one truck. So I just walked over to the truck on the right, and if you go to the driver's side door, you can hold down the X button to start driving the vehicle. It doesn't matter which vehicle you drive, you can drive anything you want to. And you can wait for your partners to get into the truck with you here, or just drive off and they should just automatically appear inside of the vehicle, which is pretty interesting, but that happens in this game. They want to keep your squad mates with you. So then we're just going to hold down the right trigger and start driving toward the objective. You don't absolutely have to drive towards the objective. You know, you could drive on any of the roads that you see, but the objective marker is on a fairly straightforward path, so I would probably recommend you just go ahead and drive along that. And if you need to brake, of course, it's the left trigger to slow down. So you're going to have some twists and turns to go through, so you'll probably want to brake a little bit. And it is almost three kilometers to this first destination that you have to go to. It's, I think, somewhere around about 2.7 kilometers or so. So probably what you'll want to do is just go ahead and start driving towards this destination. And like I said, it'll take you, you know, less than five minutes to drive out there. And you can see the waypoint marker off in the distance, that little down arrow. So that's showing me how much distance there is between myself and that first objective, the rescue mission that, that's highlighted at the upper left corner. So we'll just keep driving up that direction. And as we get close to it, you'll see that there is a yellow ring that is kind of outside of this destination. I would recommend just as you get to the yellow ring, just go ahead and turn around because you don't actually want to get into any battles or anything here for this quest. You know, if you're just trying to complete the quest, I do definitely recommend checking out the game. But let's go ahead and turn around and we'll start driving in the opposite direction. And that'll help us to just wrap this up quickly and to get our three kilometers traveled in the truck. So if you go into that yellow marker, you might get into, into some battles back there. So if you want to take it easy, then just keep driving the truck, turn around, and you'll be able to get your 75 rewards points. Like I said, I definitely recommend this game. I'm checking it out with friends right now and playing through quite a bit of it. I think I'm like a quarter of the way into the game so far. It's really good. So yeah, get together with some friends and do some recon missions inside of Wildlands. It's a pretty cool game. So that's it for Wildlands today. We're going to have guides coming out for all of the other monthly quests for Payday 2, For Honor, and for Watch Dogs 2. So I'll look forward to seeing you all in those guides. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.